So, welcome. I'm going to play the game's Winter Edition. It's released in 1988 by Epix for the Commodore 64 and some other computers, but I'm playing on Commodore. So, please let it run through a little bit more of this. I think that's actually the last screen. Let me jump to the main menu here. Of course, the 2022 Winter Olympics are starting on the day I should be posting this. This game, being released in 1988, is based on the, the Calgary Games. Of course, the only thing that really displays that is probably the opening ceremonies when there are some Canadian Mounties standing there. So, I'm going to, to compete in all events. There's seven events. That will include the opening and closing ceremonies. Take a look at the world records at the end, and if need be, I'll practice an event if I need to show it again, because it's possible I could fail so fast that you won't get to <laughs> see too much. We'll see. You get 17 countries to choose from. I'm going to go with Canada this time. There is an option to play up to eight players, as you saw there, you could, could enter eight names, but that would take a while to play through. Now, I'll, I'll stop talking for the opening ceremonies here. Everything loads fairly quick in this game, so I'm not going to edit out any of the loading. First event, Luge. Now, there's no bobsled in this game. Epic's made winter games a few years before this. This is the first one that's actually officially licensed you know, from the Olympics. It carries the Olympics license. Epic's got that for this in the summer, the game Summer Edition. The old Winter Games had a few unique events, including Hot Dog, which is like doing tricks with skis on. That was a fun event, but this game's a bit more it's in depth, more, it takes more to learn. Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I've been saying, I've said it before, like the simplicity of the Summer Games, the early ones. I don't know, there's something about them I just find more fun than these. These are much more detailed this in this, the game Summer Edition, but a little more complex too. So you can see here, there's four tracks to choose from. The world records that the game tracks, it only tracks one per event, so it just takes your best. So you think would be on the shortest track, which looks like track one. If I set the record on track four, I'm going to go with track two. Now this, I feel like I don't have a lot of control on this. You just move left or right, and you can't fall off the track, so you could really just do absolutely nothing and still finish. Now here, you have 30 seconds to slide back and forth, <laughs> which I don't think does any good whatsoever. It must just be what they can do in real life, but you really only need to slide once and then hit the button a bunch to kind of dig in there. The manual says to memorize the track before you start, but I don't know. It's just it's all so quick. It just feels like you know by the time you can react, you're already past the changing screens. Yeah, twenty-six point seven. One second off my best mark. But since I'm the only one playing, I get a gold medal. I'll let the awards, the medal ceremony go on this, and then I'll, I'll fast forward the rest of them. Be 
while we flipping the disc. Yep. This game's on two discs. Uses oop, three sides. I just leaned on the controller for you know getting the disc back in. <laughs> you probably heard the disc drive getting upset. All right, I missed what event was coming up. What is it? The ski jump? Nope, cross country. So, you get three choices here. Just to save time, I'll go with the short, well, the middle one, which is still short. It's over in like 25 seconds. There's a computer pacer on the bottom. They're not competing. This game, this one's always split screen. You could have a second player on the bottom if there was one. I just need to move left and right with the skier's legs. You can use the button to go up or down hill a bit. I mean, you'd have to have really bad momentum to not be able to make it uphill though. Because that's essentially making them walk. The hill was so short though, it's not really worth using the button. Well, the pace guy ran past me, not that it matters. Can't skip this, but you can pass forward just by holding the button. Yeah, I did just play, it felt like the game Summer Edition if you follow the channel on a regular basis because the Olympics were delayed by the pandemic. Normally the Olympics are every two years, you know, one summer, then two years, it's winter, two more years, it's another summer, but they're fairly close together this time. It's so figure skating. I've never really figured out too well. I know how to play it, but I don't know how to get a good score, so. You have to choreograph your routine first by the first option is select one of seven songs basically you got slow rock fast rock jazz rhythm new wave romantic and medium rock i believe all the rocks are the same song which is what you heard at the on the title screen and you can i can play these a little bit and just then just back out Jazz is rather slow. What's going to happen is once I select my music, I'll just go with rhythm. Rhythm's the longest song, but you can you can end the routine whenever you want. So you see, if you look it down at the bottom, basically under where the, the skater silhouette is, there's red, a couple red dots there. And it changes with the song. That's how long the song is. It ends at that red spot. Now that green arrow is just where the moves are placed. So when you do the routine, you want to activate the move when it's green. It'll show yellow when you have a move more than two seconds away. And then it'll go red when you're late on your move. So here I'm selecting different moves to do. Good to space them out a few seconds at least. The manual says to do if you do at least ten moves. It says you're supposed to do one of each, but it doesn't seem like you have to. Maybe you do for artistic points. I'm not really sure. I don't score well. But I can't do the double or triple axle, so I, I'm not going to put them in my routine. Let me put a regular axle in here. I mean, all you do is push up to do the move. You don't really have any control over it. I'll probably just end the routine early and send it there. So 
I'm doing it, I'll just double tap the button at, after that move and it'll end it. I don't... I don't think there's a way to make the skater go faster. You just kind of, you push left to go left and right to go right and then up to do a move. So I, I always fall in the double and triple axle, so... I mean, obviously if I can't do the double, I can't do the triple. So I just leave them out of the routine. Sometimes I accidentally hit the move. I think the controller's just too sensitive. Like, it kind of leans up a little bit and triggers the move when I don't want to. I wanted her to do it there, but then she started to turn. Oh yeah, those t weren't... Oh. She fell down. I think my routine's all messed up. Oh. Cause once you fall, if she still wants to do the move, she has to get up and then redo it. So it's good to leave some time between moves. seems like, you know, a really in-depth event, much more than the others. If you have eight players, this would take forever. Well, let's see how I scored. Probably in the tank. <laughs> I get, I, you're gonna get zero on artistic. Yep. 2.5 is the best I've done today. I've done four or five routines, probably. And I have gotten completely zero. That was on the routine I was trying to do the double axle over and over and over. And I just couldn't do it. I don't hold the world record on this one. My sister does. She got a 4.6. So it's possible to score okay. That's out of six. But I can't do it. Alright, next up, ski jump. And I gotta flip the disc. Well, go to disc two. Ski jump, you get three attempts, so hopefully I'll land one of them. There's a couple ways to fail. Well, three ways. Although two of them are falling off the ramp. One is basically going off the side of the ramp. One is not jumping off the ramp. And one is not landing. Not sticking the landing, so... Much more advanced, of course, than the, the ski jump event on winter games. I'm gonna go into a first person view and then side view after you take off. If I manage. Just gotta be careful not to hit the edge of the ramp going down. You move his arms and lean, and you gotta lock in your landing. So I pulled one off at least. Not a great score, but I just wanted to land one so you could see it. If you go off the edge of the ramp, you don't see the guy falling to his death. <laughs> it just drops you at the bottom in the snow. It's just the same thing that happens if you don't take off. I don't really know how to score big points. I went to landing way too early there. I'll let this one crash just so you can see it. It won't take off. He just tips his head into the snow this way. Next 
just slow them. So this one has a computer guy next to you as well. Well, next to me, but I've faulted on this one a few times today. Completed it once. <laughs> it's not hard, it's just easy to mess up. So there's two lengths of, and then you know, harder versions of either the flags closer together. Go with the easiest, but probably, let me see, well, there's a chance I'll mess up. A couple times, I've accidentally run into the edge, like, like the controller seemed to read that I double pressed. I'm the, I did it again. I pressed right, and it, I swear it, it went left when I pressed right, but anyway, that's all you do is <laughs> go above and below the flags, and if you touch one, or the edge, you go into a snowball. It's happened to me three times today. I'm not entirely sure if it's the controller or what. I mean, I don't want to make excuses, but I'm, I swear I pressed the, the correct way. It's just right and left. All right, speed skating. It's likely I'm going to fall a lot. I don't know. Last run I did, I mean, I fell a lot, but not so bad. It's still a decent run. Time before that, I fell a lot. Like most events, it's just going left and right, timing your, your rhythm with the legs. I'm gonna go one and a half laps. Half laps is just too short to really see it, and everything else is too long because I'm gonna probably fall a lot. So the computer is yellow and blue. Computer does not fall down ever, so if you wanna see a flawless performance, just watch the yellow guy. <laughs> Oh, look, I already fell. You hear that noise before they fall. Man, I can't get it going this time. Sometimes I'm perfect on the on the turn or the curve. I find the straightaway harder. Sometimes you just can't get off, it's ridiculous. Well, that was a pretty good good run without falling for a sec <laughs> for a few seconds. Good. There we go. I just gotta switch lanes once we get to the top. bad but could be a lot worse. I have trouble on the changeover though. Oh, that was pretty good. I'm not even sure why I fell that time. I feel like I changed nothing. Yeah, I thought I might have messed up there, but... Honestly, this isn't so bad a run. Yeah, that was, that was okay. <laughs> I mean, I had some good spurts there. downhill I, I stink at this event if you thought I was bad at any of the other events I'm ten times worse at this uh, you're not gonna get to see too much of this I may even have to throw on and practice at the end so you can see it but you never know sometimes I make it a little ways <laughs> last time though I only lasted like two seconds so here you place cameras Basically, you can set four cameras. When you hit a camera, there'll be a red gate. It'll switch to a side view. And 
You can do a trick. Doesn't make much sense for downhill, it's not realistic, but just a little fun thing Epic's threw in, but I think at the same time it might make it harder. Because you're going from a first person view to a third person and back to first person, and then you really gotta react quick to these gates. I'm gonna put a camera just so you can see it. I probably won't get much farther than that, but I should make that camera. You only get one attempt though, so that's what I was saying. I might have to add a tech a little onto the end of this video after the we look at the world records if I can't make it <laughs> let's see I don't know you can move up and down here before you launch I'm not sure if there's a point to it you don't want to go too fast it's really easy to miss a gate well I failed to pull off a move but I got I got through it <laughs> so I guess that's good enough that's basically it. You just gotta make all the gates. You miss one and you fall down. And... I think it's hard. In fact, there's no world record for this event. Which you'll see in a bit. So I don't know if I ever completed it. At least not in competition. If you complete it during practice, it doesn't count toward a world record. Alright, so here's the closing ceremonies. They take a little while. Especially the... Uh, the flame being put out it takes a while and the fireworks you'll think they're gonna go on forever but they do stop now I gotta switch back to disc one see I won't talk during the closing ceremonies I'll let you enjoy those <laughs> which is a lot of nothing and then a big fireworks show Okay, so that was it. It's gonna run through some credits and then say that the game Summer Edition is coming soon. This came out earlier than the Summer Edition. The, the Summer Olympics that year were in September, the winter were in February. And I'm gonna tack on a little clip after I end the video because I should have um. A little flipping downhill and <laughs> a previous recording I'll just tack it on so you can see it it's nothing nothing special but yeah something I wasn't able to show all 
All right, let's look at those world records, which probably aren't very good. But other than my sister, I don't know if anyone's even played this. Maybe my, my neighbor or some friend or something, but the records are just me and my sister here. Like I said, not, nothing on downhill. So we saw the luge score on track four. Cross country, I got 20, I don't know what I got, 23, 24 seconds on that two kilometer. I assume the 17 is the one, but I don't know. It must be, but it seems like it should have been be able to do faster than that but who knows figure skating 4.6 you know it's great in my book <laughs> i can't get anywhere near that ski jump i don't even know what the top score could be probably at least 300 though solemn if i actually finish it 36 seconds and speed skating must be a half lap at 25 it took me today two minutes to do that one and a half so 25 seconds seems good. I probably didn't fall down at all. All right, so like I said, I'll tack on, hopefully I'll, I have that recording of the little flipping downhill. I'll leave a link in the video description if you want to read Commodore Magazine's review of this game. And thanks for watching.